Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this video, we are going to learn that how you can integrate the Razor payment inside your Flutter applications. Okay, so let's get started. First, inside your project, go to your PopSpec YAML file and import this two dependency. First, get for state management, route management and for other features. And second, for integrating Razor Pay, import this dependency Razor Pay Flutter. Okay. Now, if you don't know how to use GetX with your Flutter application, so I recommend you to watch my GetX state management playlist. Okay. Now, after importing these two packages, go to your project folder and over here, go inside your Android folder. Click on the application folder and click on the build.gradle file. Now, inside your build.gradle file, change your main SDK version from 16 to 20. Because Razor Pay plugin requires that your main SDK version should be greater than or equal to 90. Otherwise, it will won't work. Okay. Now, after doing these changes, go to your main.dat file and over here change your material app to get material app. Because we will be using get packages for, for showing the snack bars and route management and for state management. Okay. So, after doing this change, First, we will create a controller class named Payment Controller, which will be extending the GetX controller. First, we will create an object of our Razor Pay. Now, inside the onInit method of our GetX controller class, first we will initialize our Razor Pay object. Okay. Now, after initializing this object, first what we have to do, we have to attach the event listeners. Okay. So this plugin uses event based communication and emits events when payment fails or succeeds. So the event names are exposed by the constants like uh, event payment success, event payment error, event payment wallet and so on from our Razor Pay class only. Okay. So to use this, we have to use the on method of this Razor Pay object. Okay. To attach the event listeners. So, in this way, attach these three listeners to our Razor Pay object. Okay. And each event will be having its own function handler. Okay. So, after attaching this event listeners to our Razor Pay object, first we will declare this handlers of each event. Okay. So, as you can see over here. So, as you can see over here, we have created three methods. Each method is representing a handler of each event. Okay. So, first is our handler payment success which will be handling the event of payment success. Okay. So, inside it, you have to pass the parameter payment success response. Okay. So, if our payment is successful, then we will show a snack bar using the get.snackbar method. We will set its title payment successful and we will attach some parameters of the response as well like response order ID, payment ID and signature. Okay. So, this three is not necessary whether you want to show it or not. Okay, so it's completely optional. So here we are done with our handle payment success function. After this, we have created a handle payment error function, which will be having the argument of payment failure response type. Okay, so if our payment fails, so we will show a message of payment error occurred with its message. And after this, we have declared a function for handle external wallet event. Okay. So, in its argument, it will be having the response of external wallet response against uh, some message with some title, okay, inside a snack bar. So, after declaring this three function handlers, attach them with their events, okay. So, here we are done with attaching our event listeners, okay. Now, after attaching this listeners, we want to clear the listener as when, as soon the payment is successful. So, inside this void dispose method, Call your Razor Pay object dot clear method. So it will clear all the event listeners. Okay. Now we just want to create a method which will open our Razor Pay interface. Okay. So we have created one method name void dispatch payment which will be having the parameters amount, name, contact, description, email, and wallet. Okay. Now Razor Pay object provides a method name open where you have to provide a map of options. Okay. And inside this options, as you can see, each and every attribute is of key pair value. Okay. Now, what this open method will do, that when you will click on your payment button, then it will open your Razor Pay interface. Okay. With the options that you have provided. Okay. So, here we have created a var options variable. Okay. Which is having a map of options. Okay. First is key. Okay. 
and here you will provide your razor pay api key now to get this key so now to fetch your own razor pay api key okay first visit your razor pay.com website and create your account okay now after creating your account you will be landed on such dashboard screen okay now over here under the settings tab so over here you can even select the theme color that you want for your payment gateway okay so i have by default it will be blue but i have selected this indigo shade okay and also over here you can also upload the logo that you want to show on your payment gateway as well okay now after providing some configurations click on the api section and generate your api key okay so after this inside this key pass your razor pay api key okay now here we are having other options like amount so here we will pass the amount that we will be passed by the user okay name description now it is also having a attribute of timeout okay so at, like if you want to provide some timeout like after 60 seconds if some uh, if user have not provided some action then the payment gateway should get closed okay and inside its prefill options here here it is having other map like for contact email and one more map value of name externals in which we will provide a map of wallets okay now if you want to learn more about the option like what what other kind of options you can uh, send as a request to your payment gateway so just visit the razor pay flutter package inside your pub.dev here they have provided each and every step for installing and for initializing your razor pay object here also you can find the code of attach event listeners okay their handler method and these are your setup options as well here they have provided a list of options that you can see okay so after setting up our options variable we will call a try catch method and here we will call our razor pay dot open method and will pass our options so here we are done with our payment controller so now create a screen name payment screen which is a stateless which is a stateless widget and inside it add create an elevated button now just before this build method we will fetch our payment controller so to find your uh, controller just write payment controller equals to get dot put payment controller so this is the syntax for finding your getx controllers okay and after this inside our elevated button in its on press method we are calling our dispatch payment method so to call it we will write payment controller dot dispatch method now inside it we are passing the parameter like this is amount the name contact number product description email and wallet name okay so this was it so now when you will run your application okay and this time when i click on this total payment as you can see we are having our razor pay interface okay so you can see the color of the theme is also changed because i have changed it to indigo in my configurations now over here you can see the name the description which is products the amount which is 200 you can see over here my phone number is also completed okay and just on its uh, right hand side you can see our email also okay so now if we click on the card payment so here you can see enter otp sent to this particular number okay now if i just click on the skip save card and let's just fill some mock data so as you can see over here after filling our mock data it is showing me that it is a invalid card number so it won't proceed so if you want to try you can give your valid card credentials and you can try it as well now if i click on the pay button so it is giving me the prompt of enter a valid card number now if i go back and if i click on the net banking option and if i select any bank okay and click on pay so you can see it has given me the interface of our payment so this is just a demo bank page okay no live transactions are made so this test api interface will be helpful for your college projects and anything else where you just want to show the demo okay so if i click on the failure button so it will show me payment fail okay and it will take me back to our previous screen but this time if i choose wallet option and just click on any wallet option say airtel money and just click on payment again it will get me to this screen and if i click on the success that this time it will show me 
payment successful so if you find this content resourceful then please do like share and subscribe our channel till then keep practicing and keep fluttering